Hi guys, it's Adam for FabLab and Skitty, and in this tutorial I'll explain how to use the Sense Scanner to scan a person's head. Plug in your Sense 3D scanner and a USB drive into the workstation laptop. The computer will not save your file if a USB is not connected. Open the Sense 3D software, select person, then head, and your scanner should then switch on. Once you see the scanner in display, you're ready to scan. Horizontally place your scanner on the back of the subject's head at a distance of approximately half a meter, and make sure your subject is sitting still. Start your scan by pressing Start Scan. The person who is scanning should have a view of the screen at all times for the best result. Move the scanner around the subject and capture the areas which you would need. The captured areas will become visible once captured. Take your time and feel free to start over if you're not satisfied with the result. Sometimes the scanner loses tracking. Don't worry and try to re-navigate on your subject. Make sure to take your time with problematic areas such as hair and underneath the chin. Click pause and then next to finish your scan. You will then be in the edit menu. Use the eraser tool to take out any unnecessary parts and use the crop tool to get a proper framing for your subject if needed. Take your time during this stage as the erase function can be a very tedious task. Click and drag to rotate around the model, and press the wheel if you want to pan along the subject. To zoom in, use the mouse wheel. Click solidify when you feel like you're done. This will fill on all the holes in the model and make it a solid object. Click next after. You will then be in the further enhanced menu. You can continue touching up your subject by smoothing out any imperfections and rough areas. Feel free to use the trim function to cut out any unnecessary areas further. Click on save when you're done. You can then save your object as an OBJ to further customize your work or directly as an STL for your printer. Enjoy the scanner and make the best out of it. Here's the final result of what we have scanned.